Thank you. It's really a pleasure to be here because I truly do agree that this is a seminal event that all of us are witnessing here. But being a regulator, I would like to start with a disclaimer and end with a risk factor. So the first disclaimer is that um, everything I say henceforth, please assume is highly biased because I'm just a great fan of what the account aggregator ecosystem is and what it can be. So I'm just biased. The reason I'm so heavily biased is because I believe that what the account aggregator ecosystem is going to do for our citizens is two things. One is what we've all discussed about democratizing data. But on the other hand, I believe at the complete opposite extreme, I believe that data also humanizes transactions. It's really interesting that Homeland Security in the US actually issued a list of 10 things that you should do if you get taken hostage on an aircraft or in any other situation. And one of those top 10 things was humanize yourself by sharing data about yourself with your hostage taker. Now that's to me really, really powerful because what that means is that even in a situation as adverse as being taken hostage, your personal data can make the difference between life and death. This inverted Stockholm syndrome, as it's called, I think is an equally potent force that data brings to the table, apart from the democratization that all of us are now so familiar with. In the context of the capital market, the securities market, we have already seen that there have been so many inflection points in the market. It started with dematerialization, again, the first time that shares got digitized, and it revolutionized the way that share trading happened in our country. The second inflection point was when online share trading came, because it democratized access to the markets and gave access to people who wanted to deal in very, very small, little sachet-sized transactions in the market. So while the FMCG companies in our country were busy utilizing the sachetization of consumption, and where every person in rural India was now able to afford the one rupee sun silk shampoo, our industry took to every single small town and village the ability and the access to the stock market through a combination of dematerialization. You can now buy one share of Infosys, Nandan, and you can buy it on Anoop, your online share trading platform, and that is the power that it gave them. What we see in the securities market that could be a potential um, liftoff using the account, account aggregator ecosystem is the whole concept of making services which so far have been reserved for the well-heeled for people who have upwards of $10 million of asset under management, the kind and quality of services that such people get is what we hope that going forward, every citizen of our country will get, simply because the market will use this platform and this infrastructure which has been created via the account aggregator and leverage that foundation with machine learning and help us to therefore deliver inclusion of a scale that we can't even imagine in terms of these kind of so-called exclusive services which today are available to less than 0.1% of the population of our country. So we are hoping that this data, to begin with, as has been discussed, the financial data, and going forward, layered, layer upon layer of other transactional data, will help to create that foundation of creating machine learning-based, artificial intelligence-based services, which will then help to take these services to every single citizen of the country. 
However, as I mentioned, I will end with some risk factors. We know that machine learning, artificial intelligence, which are great for fostering diversity and inclusion, also unfortunately can have an inherent bias in themselves. And that usually happens because of two things. Either the data that is going in is itself biased, or that the algorithms being built have a certain bias built into them. So that is a risk that we must be very conscious of to ensure that as we build out this ecosystem, how do we eliminate bias from the data and how do we eliminate bias from the development of the artificial intelligence and the algorithms so that what we finally deliver to that every citizen of the country, which is the promise that account aggregators hold out, is truly unbiased. Thank you.